Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Let's go around the league uh, of the CFL and, and talk about some upcoming games. First of all, the Stamps and, and Riders. Uh, we, we took that one for granted last week, but Saskatchewan, here's a team that they just have to blow up because uh, what do you say about this team? I mean, they thought it was Marshall the problem, and then uh, the Savior came in, and even the Savior can't score points with that team. So uh, Saskatchewan, Ryderville, is going to be imploded, and they've got to make some new changes for the new year. The, uh, the thing is, it was so puzzling to me that they had just a slim margin of hope that they were going to make the playoffs, and Darian Durant is starting yeah. and coming off the bench on a game where he shouldn't even have played in Edmonton. And then Andy Fantuz is coming back from an, an ankle injury that he clearly is not 100%. These are, these are assets for the future, and you're just trying to get to the playoffs for that m tiny margin of hope that, that you can get in there and make some, uh, something happen. Real, I, I would say that Darian Durant has to sit down now, get healthy. Uh, there's, this season's lost. Don't worry about it. Uh, figure out what went wrong. They've got to obviously clean some house. And it's funny, you, I read some of the things out of Regina, and they're not putting any of the blame on, on Ken Miller or Brendan Tamman. It just all, it just all went wrong there. Uh, it, something w happened that it, it was they're blaming the, the previous regime or something like that. Uh, very puzzling situation. And uh, the way that they are going to finish the year uh, is the first time in a decade they're not in the playoffs. And that's got to be a weird scenario for the Ryder fans. We'll see if they, if they stay as passionate as they were for the last seven, eight years because they were always contenders through that time. What did Brandon Tamman do in Winnipeg, by the way? Uh, you basically imploded. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so pretty much here. Uh, yep, and you know, you just, you have to do something. I look at the similar situation that the BC Lions had. Here's two teams out of the gate and were just downright brutal. The Lions stayed patient. They stayed with Wally. They stayed with what they had and they adjusted. They made the changes they have. They brought in the odd guy, uh, a couple of guys. Everything's work. Here's a team that's won eight straight. They look like they are the team to beat. And in the year that they're hosting the Grey Cup, this is the one year they want to advance. Well, the thing is about the, the Lions, they turned over that roster the last couple of years. They've gotten rid sure. of all the older guys that couldn't play anymore. The Jason Claremonts, who subsequently ended up in Regina. The Riders didn't do that. They kept with the old guys. They got rid of a few of them but didn't do it enough. Whereas Wally knew that if he didn't turn over his roster over the last couple of years, he was gonna end up in a situation like the Riders. He turned it over, went with the growing pains, and now they're, they're building towards the future. Uh, they're, they're looking good, obviously. If, if the Grey Cup wasn't in Vancouver this year, I'd pick them to win, because nobody ever wins their own Grey Cup except for the Lions back in yeah, 1994. That, that's exactly it. That's yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, you bet. Um, look at the uh, Edmonton Eskimos right now. This, I pretty much, nothing in the league surprised me uh, other than the Edmonton Eskimos this year. I knew Saskatchewan was going to falter somewhat. Uh, I knew it would be, a, I thought it'd be more of a battle between BC and, uh, and the Stampeders. I didn't expect Edmonton with what we saw at the preseason, how many rookies they had, a new coaching staff. Uh, I didn't know if Reed was going to be the guy. But uh, here we are. Man, they're impressive. <laughs> and, but it's like every other team in the league. They have some weaknesses, and you don't know week to week what they're, what they're going to do. Yeah. Last week, I didn't think they were going to show up with such a great defensive effort against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. They pressured Buck Pierce a lot. They, they did the Winnipeg Blue Bombers to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, right? Just send all the pressure and let the quarterback make mistakes. So Buck Pierce made enough mistakes that, uh, that they were able to capitalize. Edmonton is, is a puzzling one down the stretch. They might have enough uh, to get it done with just Cavus Reed and his motivations. And it's funny, you watch TSN all, as much as I do, you see that the, Cavus Reed, every week, they show his pregame, postgame speech because it's interesting. Yep. It's motivational. It's, it's not the, the, what you saw from Greg Marshall earlier in the year and the rare time that they actually show you a John Huffnagel speech. It's not the same thing. He's a rah-rah guy. He's able to fire guys up on, in the playoff race. That, or in the playoff run, that could actually make a difference. Well, one guy said the difference between Huff and Cavis Reed right now, Cavis Reed has the, the locker room and everybody loves playing for him. Yeah. They're playing for him. Yeah. yeah, pulse of the team, right? Absolutely. And he knows how to push the buttons of certain players to get yeah. them to go. And if they've got enough uh, weapons on offense, if they can keep Jerome Messam and, and Calvin McCarty, if that duo keeps going the way they're going, 
uh, they could do some damage and they're probably going to they're going to host the playoff game which is big for them they haven't done that since 2004 yep. you think of the mighty eskimos they haven't hosted a playoff game since 2004 at least it's not going to be a grass field exactly yeah <laughs> nobody'll be slipping and sliding That's it won't right. be slippy turf uh, after Cavis Reed did the 13th man uh, for Saskatchewan in the playoff game and they had it so many times at the start of the year i didn't think there's going to be a sniff but it looks right now that they could be hosting that semifinal game i mean that's my bet against the stampeders Tired of going to redneck barbecues? Well, you better call Rocky Mountain Barbecue. Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Great tasting food, clean and efficient service. Check us out online or call Rocky Mountain Barbecue. <laughs>